This is Captain Alex Mason here playing Mission 20. Enemy truck, 6 o'clock. Um, characters are... Oh, I forgot. The last mission had Chairman Zakayev on it. On security feed. So, in this mission, Mission 20, characters are Sergeant John Soap McTavish. Staff Sergeant Griggs, Gaz, Captain John Price. What's funny about this mission is that it feels just like called like the original Call of Duty's mission. Where you had to run away, like outrun. Like you had to outrun a bunch of these trucks. Except instead of Russians, it was Germans. I would laugh if someone actually successfully managed to hit it. Now this is different. I'm... Cause it was never muffled, and I could never see my hands. There'll be a significant change in the ending as well. So, the thing that they changed in this was, um, what happened with, uh, what's his face? Captain John Price. Now, this scene always kind of gets me. It's just like, not where you want to cry, but you're just like, oh, dude. Now, they put so much 
oomph to that last one. Like, last time when he was shot, it was just silent, but, like, it gets loud and then doesn't. Now, he was lying on a, he's lying on his stomach here, but in the original game, he's already, like, leaning upright on one of his arms. You're gonna fucking die. Oh, and Sergeant Kamarov is... Damn! Came close to taking my hand off. Fucker's dead. Hey, camera. So originally, before they even thought about making a sequel, the Russian government released a statement today confirming a series of nuclear missile tests in central Russia. Although world leaders were quick to denounce the action, Russian officials maintained that the missile tests fell well within established UN protocols. No comment was received from the ultra-nationalist party, where rumors of a possible leadership struggle have just begun to surface. In other news, the search for a ship lost in the Bering Strait due to a major storm has been called off. Okay. 